Cool. Uh, if you want to get to the selection screen and give us a countdown, Garb, we'll go ahead and dive right into this crap. So, okay, just switch the controls. So, okay, so start in five, four, three, two, one, go. Woo! Yeah, jump the gun shortly, but that's all right. I'm a second ahead of you, I think. Ah, so, uh, a little bit about Bubsy 2. Bubsy 2 has two wings. We've got the east wing and the west wing. The west wing's a lot harder. So, for the purposes of this run, we start at the east to sort of get back into the groove a little bit. Uh, we also follow a routine. There's five flavors of levels, and we're going to get those five flavors recycled three times for each wing. So, a total of 30 levels. With a couple of really crappy boss fights. You'll see those soon. Egypt levels are pretty much just a maze, so that's what we're doing here. We're going to go through this crappy maze level. And the marbles. And, uh, we try to slow down a little bit to the marbles because if you hit them a little slower, and from the bottom of this big red marble, it spawns fewer of them, which advances the screen faster. Oh wow. Okay, uh, you two reached the end. Let's see, Qualazy, uh, just based on the timer, maybe be beat, maybe beat Garbanzo just by a little bit. Garbanzgurdy. Hmm. Tiny bit, so there's a but, long yeah, jump within here, a second or two. Stage to get it started, and it's actually one of the harder tricks to learn if you're just starting the game. Um, there's a specific pixel you're supposed to jump on in order to get a nice clean glide through the door. I got lucky and got it there, but it is actually, even with a lot of practice, easy to screw it up. Yeah, I got it too. Yeah, both of you are on the ships right now, so really close race from the get-go. Nice. Last time we did this, Garbanzo beat me by about three and a half seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. I'm not really a fan of this game. Uh, really? I'm a fan of watching it, not playing it. <laughs> because w one thing is that the levels are really confusing the first time you play it. They're, they're all mazes. They're still confusing when I've played it about 150 times. <laughs> Okay, Garbanzo does have a little bit of a lead at this point. Hmm. Not by much. Really bad space. Uh. Music levels, I think, are the most dangerous levels in the game because they're so overpopulated with enemies, and that is a recurring problem with the way this game is designed. Okay, I really messed up the first part of that. Still 1450, that's not too bad from the first door. There's a lot of movement tricks that I'm going to be trying to do here that are technically slower than what Garbanzo does, but they are a little bit more consistent for me. Mm. More of a safety first approach from my side. Uh, well, I'm already on my. Well, I need to get this band aid. <laughs> okay, this isn't the best level for me. No, I'm having a bad level too, it's alright. Uh, I also collected the 100 box, which was a huge mistake. Me One of the things about this game is we actively try to avoid collecting marbles until this final sequence. That's because at the end of the okay. stage, like you see here, it's counting all the marbles down. It takes forever. And so getting a box of 100 actually costs us about 2.1 seconds. Yeah. I, th I feel like, Colt, you probably gained quite a bit of time. Yeah, I had slow marbles, too. Hmm. That was pretty bad for me. I don't know. Eh. The Red Baron levels are really obnoxious. It's essentially the auto-scroller of the game. Uh, the only thing that makes it not a normal auto-scroller is that we're able to make a U-turn, and in a couple levels we'll actually have to. Yeah, so one thing that Chad is pointing out, there are three hits before you die in this game. Uh, which people are saying is the worst part of the first game, but it doesn't really help too much in this one, I think. There's so uh, much instant death in this game that it actually really doesn't matter at all. <laughs> really. uh, yeah. The vast majority of threatening things in this game are instant death anyway. There are a couple places we can damage boost because of it, but other than that, it almost doesn't impact the speedrun at all. So, so for that part, one interesting thing about it is that there's a way to not even have to collect those marbles. Like if you if you turn around the, the right pixel in the right frame, you can you can skip the marbles getting out, and that saves like probably like 10 to 15 seconds if you can do that. From what I'm seeing right now, Koala has about a one second lead. Oh, nice. Uh, based off of the timer. Those are actually really fun for speed running because you can mostly just hold right and run through them. Uh, but mm -hmm. they are actually very dangerous. There's a lot of instant death effects in these maps, so there's a lot of ways that can go wrong. 
But the first one for East Wing is actually really easy. Got good marbles too. Good. Yeah, just one or two second difference. Like, th this is nuts so far. He's <laughs> oh. going to make it up for me on the boss fight. Hmm. The boss fight is brutal for me. He's got a strategy here that works a lot better than what I try to do. There's a double hit you can get by being spawned on top of the boss uh, as it pops out of this little door. You'll see me try to go for it a couple times here. And if I kill any of these guys in one cycle, you'll know I got it. Really good boss fight for me. That was pretty much perfect for me, what I do. I mean, I've wasted a lot of time already. Ah, uh, I'm still in it. Uh, I'm like, still in it. There we go. One strat you can do is yeah, to I, shoot... I missed a couple cycles. It's pretty bad. You can actually shoot nerf guns there to speed it up more, but that's a really hard strat to do with how the nerf gun works. Yeah, I, haven't, I haven't bothered with that at all. I should probably experiment with it. Yeah, I didn't do it either. Garbanz definitely takes the lead here. Let's see what Kowal can do to catch up. This is actually my favorite level in terms of some nifty movement tricks, so I've got a decent chance to catch up some here. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. I didn't get the best trick, so I did waste about a second and a half there that I didn't need to waste. Yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 I almost died there. Oh. The trickiest part is actually... Remember, because this game is such a maze, and it's actually really hard to remember, even after running it quite a lot. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Egypt levels do get progressively worse in terms of being super mazy. Uh, and if you're trying to play this game casually, sorry. Um, I wouldn't ever. I would never yeah. recommend somebody play this casually. It's a disaster. <laughs> Speedrunning is actually kind of fun, because the movement is actually really cool. Yeah. I had bad marble from Egypt, so you probably made a little more time on me there. Uh, hmm. Let's see. So yeah, doing all levels, which like... means you guys are going to see East and West Wing. Yes, uh, Garbanzo has about a seven-second lead on you at this point. Still close. All right. Uh, and it's, <laughs> things can always change, though. This is Bubsy. The oh. death is worth about 20 seconds, and it's very likely one of us will die. That was like the worst first section ever for the spice level. Yeah? Yeah. I had a little trouble getting through the door, but other than that, I'm doing pretty good. Qual's yeah. saying that, he's like, oh, really? <laughs> Sounds good, yeah. <laughs> no complaints here. Thank you for the handicap. I appreciate it. <laughs> Some bizarre but very consistent movement here to get better marble movement at the end of the stage. Yeah. You see, I got most of the marbles to bounce off the top of the screen before it scrolled up. That's something we do a lot more later in the run as well, uh, particularly for the Medieval 2 stage on West Wing. I probably Game made up a second. Made up two about a pretty good space. Four seconds. So, Next level for me. Garbanzo winning by three seconds right now. Music uh, is a disaster no matter how you slice it, so let's see how this goes. Oh no, I mean, actually, I need to use one of these. Uh, this could be bad. Are you going for a safety uh, band-aid? Because oh. I might need one as well. Yeah, I'll need one. Uh, for greedy here, I could get that checkpoint, but I'm going to try and go for it. Hmm. Uh, it didn't bite me yet, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get the safety one over here. It's a lot slower, but marathon safety. We're going to uh, do it right. About. And I hit the lightning bolt on the way up, so I'm really glad I grabbed that safety one. Uh, oh, boy, these marbles are bad. Let's uh, see. I'm going to make up some time with decent marbles. Yeah, mine are all right. Ah. Uh, not bad, not bad. I might have made a second back up there. Uh, okay, just now entering the next level. I, uh, yeah, I can't say who's in the lead right now. I don't know. <laughs> it's nice. Pretty that's, much tied. That's a good sign. So there's uh, two different strategies for this level. This one's actually kind of cool. I found an alternate way of getting through this level by accident. Learn the speed run, and uh, I actually timed it out. It's about two seconds faster. I, I don't know if Garbanzo's going to go for it. No, I, I still haven't learned it, so yeah. 
I'm probably going to pick up a little more time on you then. Uh, I learned it by accident because I didn't know where to go, so I went in a straight line, and it turns out going in a straight line is faster than doing all the U-turns and stuff that Garbanzo's going to be doing on his side. So uh, if you want this level to be more interesting, don't watch my side. Uh, <laughs> so I'm trying to do uh, a glitch here at the end. Garbanzo mentioned it earlier. It's the uh, the marble skip. Something I found by accident as well. I was very drunk at this point. Uh, it turns out if you U-turn as you go through that red orb, it actually spits all the marbles uh, either just two, and they go straight into you, or it doesn't spit any at all and immediately advances to the next stage. And if you get it, it saves 14 seconds, which is an enormous amount of time because the difference between a good run and a bad run in this game is whether it's under or over 18 minutes. Looks like Koala has about a one-second lead at this point. Oh, nice. Some really cool movement here. We'll see if I can get it to work. I don't go for the cool movement, so... Yeah, you do it well. Ah, I got it. Yes, I got the perfect one, too. That was actually really nice. Nice. I screwed it up real fast, but I got the good move. <laughs> Alright, yeah, there you go. Okay. There we go. Alright, that was a good medieval level for me. It was about a second slower than it should have been, but it was pretty good. Okay. Gotcha. We were having a little bit of buffering for you, Kowal, but I think we're good. Okay. Oh. Hmm. I'm just now entering the second boss fight. It's the exact same as the first boss fight, except it takes six hits to kill instead of just four. Yeah. Okay. Just catch everybody up. Koala is taking a little bit more of a lead, but again, anything could change. We have plenty of time. Okay, this went pretty well so far. Uh, My boss fight went real bad. Okay, I just finished right, it. it. Yeah, I yeah. just finished it. 134 on my side. Pixel apart right now. <laughs> <laughs> I had a really bad boss fight, so anytime I made up on that medieval stage, you just got it back. Hmm. Okay, in right now. <laughs> Same thing here. <laughs> yeah, it's about tied. We're, we're <laughs> you guys like this right stage, now. by the way, like, because we are going to see this stage twice. Yeah. This is the only stage in the entire game we're going to see twice, because for whatever reason, East Wing and West Wing have the same Egypt level. They don't have anything else the same, but they have the same Egypt level. That's strange. Yeah. Really weird. I think I've played some of the Egypt level though, and I really didn't like it. Huh. Nobody does. <laughs> <laughs> it might surprise you to know this game's not very good. Oh, really? I have no yeah, I know it's weird, right? But yeah. Come on. Okay, there. Pretty decent movement on this. I don't know how my marbles are going to turn out, but it looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay, decent marbles. Say that. Is it All better right, to get more marbles before the end of the stage? You want the fewest possible, because it counts down your marbles at the end of the stage, and it costs you about, um, about two seconds per hundred marbles or so. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. 2.1-ish. Garbanzo has a little bit more of a lead. The most dangerous level in the game. Oh no. Okay, I need to take a potential death here. Uh, it's very likely one of us is going to die. Probably both of us. You probably got. Oh, geez. You're probably ahead now. Uh, the music levels are bad. Music levels are very dangerous. This... I actually almost got the skip. Oh, nice. Oh, I died too, actually. Bummer. Ah. Uh, yeah, this is this level's just bad. Yeah. So uh, the music levels are especially dangerous. All of them are. Uh, however, this one is the worst one by far. It's got a lot of really tight locations. You have to make really awkward jumps that are not easy to do at all. Um, in addition to that, it's got lots of like weird little skips that are very uncommon to work. And I've actually managed to zip through that pipe into the instant death pit before. And that should give you an idea of what we're up against here. Wow. Uh, that was actually pretty good. Games. I might make up some time here. Okay, it's finished. Oh, well, I'm way behind then. Uh, oh, crap. Oh, no. 
Oh. Come on, penguins. Don't do me like that, penguins. Oh, crap. Oh. Well, I'm definitely losing this race. You'd have to die a couple more times for what just happened to me. Oh. Yeah, that can be really punishing. I know what part you're talking about. Oh, yeah. wow. You know, yeah. that sucked. Not good. Not good at all. All right, let's see. No, I can't even go for the risky strat. This is really bad. I might not even finish the the uh, east wing. Oh. Uh, choking bad. Choking bad. Not good. Not good. Not good. All right, I'm gonna try and put it back together. We might be able to salvage this. It's okay. Yeah. The wrong. Ugh. Yeah. Not good. Not good. We're not doing so hot on this side. Uh, I don't know why I picked that up because I don't have any lives left. Oh. Alright. Come on, game. Don't do me like this. Oh, nope. Alright, I'm gonna wait for you and I'll hop into West Wing. Ah, uh, oh, sorry to hear that. Do, well, yeah, we'll just start West Wing at the same time, so we can at least race that. Choked bad. That's the most dangerous level by far, and I, uh, I totally botched the movement on the Penguin Skip. Uh, so what I should mention here in terms of the Penguin Skip, what that is, there's a jump you can make there uh, only if you happen to hit the Penguin and clip through part of the pipe. Uh, it's a consistent trick if you do the inputs correctly. It's not like it's already any RNG involved. Um, but it's easy to botch, and if you kill a penguin, the penguin does not respawn. So you actually can't actually recover from that. There's a path you could take the long way around, but it's very dangerous, and it's very likely that you'll die on that side. Okay, I had a pretty bad space level there. Like, I actually took a death there. Don't worry about it, I'm not going to catch it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh. When you get to the uh, title select screen for West Wing, yeah. I will hop back in and we'll race at that point for the West Wing. Uh, yeah, yeah, that'll be a good way. Uh. Honestly, though, it, it's a brutal game. You know, you never really know what Budsy is going to throw your way. Nah. Well, also, I've not practiced this game as much as I should have for the marathon. With four games to run, I was really working on the other three more than this one, so... I'm not hugely surprised that I died in the run. I thought I'd at least finish it, but I thought I'd finish it like two minutes behind Garbanzo. Oh, geez, yeah. When you have tons of runs, well, I know uh, Essentia can attest to that because early at Marathon, she had a lot of games to run, and she's like, I never feel prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, that that's just how it goes. I, I'm i sort of in the same boat as you, Kowal. I'm not looking forward to my next, my Snow White, and, or my Snow White and Boots Run. I haven't practiced a lot for those, honestly. So, yeah. Or my HP, too, for that matter. I've practiced for Spider-Man, and I feel pretty confident that nobody's going to be playing as much Spider-Man as I have in my entire life, so. Yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> uh, I'm not really a fan of that game. I actually am very looking forward to playing that game some more. Uh, uh, okay. Well, when you know how bad the game is, if you've played that game yourself, like, it's impressive to watch. You are in for a treat. Oh, yeah. It is crap. It's fun crap for me, anyway. The list of bad games I've played that I would not want to play again is actually pretty short. I think it's like a title and a half. Oh, really? <laughs> I've thrown it again for as long as I live. And uh, Darkman is a terrible video game, but I would still play some more of it because I want to compete with Office of Wizard Record. Yeah, I do enjoy Darkman. I, I think I want to at least beat that game. Okay, okay, West Wing down. Yeah, take your time, it's not too bad. Okay, East Wing down, so are that going to happen? down, let me know when you're on the title select screen and we'll count it down. Yeah, yeah. So do you want to start from zero or from whatever time I'm at now? Did you reset your timer? I'll leave it running. Huh? What? You left it running? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, okay, so ready to start. So, th th three, okay. two, one, hit it. Zam! All right, back in the race. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the West Wing it is substantially more difficult than East Wing. It has some really ugly mechanics. East Wing's actually kind of elegant. There's a lot of cool movement that looks really smooth and fresh when you're doing it. West Wing's the opposite. It's really, like, jerky, and there's lots of, like, damage boosting and crapola. It looks terrible. Um, 
which is why East Wing is generally the preferred route for speedrunning. It just looks a lot prettier when you do it right. Yeah. yeah. So both practiced uh, East Wing substantially more than West, so uh, there's chances of things going very wrong. <laughs> yeah. Isn't the isn't this the same Egypt level though? Oh, it's quite different. Uh, Egypt oh. three is the same though. <laughs> oh, okay. Egypt three. Egypt three. You'll look at yeah. it and go, "Oh, right, I saw this before." Yeah. Uh, there we go. Good marbles. Good marbles. I think I'm not. Even... Or no, that was good too. At a bad beginning, so yeah. Mine wasn't too bad. It wasn't perfect, but it certainly was not the choke that I had in music three. Ah. Uh. So the space levels in West Wing all follow the same basic pattern. We're going up and right, and then we're going to do the auto-scroller, and then we're going to go down and left. Uh, but they all do it slightly different with hitting different targets, gliding to different locations at different heights. And the tricky part is sort of remembering where to go, because the background is not a help. Yeah. The weird thing about these enemies in the auto-scrolling sections is when you hit them, you get invincibility frames immediately afterwards, like everything else in the game. But you actually don't get slowed down for hitting them until after the invincibility frames wear off. Yeah. Are you really? Strange. Yeah, I don't understand that, but okay. So some weird stuff uh, involving Bubsy's movement here. In the space level, because of the way that they designed the anti-gravity effect, uh, Bubsy actually accelerates when you hit enemies in these levels. Huh. Oh my god, I just had a really bad level there. I actually oh, no. did choke and you completed it. Yeah, just a choke. I actually died. Oh, crap. Uh, well, this is a video I'm going to make up the West Wing is punishing, and I'm going to die at least once. Hmm. Um, music 1 on West Wing is actually pretty cool. I kind of like Music 1 on West Wing. Uh, hmm. Unlike the other music levels, we're not going right, we're going left. So I'm going to be doing a couple chain bounces here. I missed one jump to get up there. There we go. Let me sort of coast along, glide over to here, and... Now the level's got some fluid movement going on. It's a little bit more interesting than the other uh, music levels. There's also a couple really interesting skips by bouncing over enemies, and it's just a little bit more of a joy to run than the other music levels are. Yeah. Okay, finished with that level now. I was going to say, just the, watching uh, it, it seems more enjoyable than the other ones. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot less overpopulated by enemies, and it has much cooler movement. I don't see any penguins either. Oh, there's uh, very few penguins on that stage. That's a big plus. I do hate penguins. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> and because of how much I hate penguins. I'm sure chat's gonna agree with you how terrible penguins are. Yeah, They're penguins the are worst. the absolute worst. So the plane levels uh, on West Wing are actually exceptionally dangerous, whereas they were just kind of annoying on East Wing. They're actually extremely dangerous on West Wing. Yeah. Whoa, really speaking, nice. we're not going to be uh, mashing the shoot button all that much because it does put the projectiles on screen, causing a lot of visual lag. Uh, the Genesis has a lot of trouble keeping up with the sprites in this game as it is. Huh. Um, but there are some places where it is so dangerous that we are just going to mash the button, and the one I went through was one of those areas. <laughs> I'm, I'm just thinking with this game. Yeah, it, I, I didn't even think of lag at all, but... The game's already I mean, nuts enough, but with the lag management, wow. The lag yeah. is hideous, and there's actually some places where we take a slower route to kill enemies before you hit the final marbles on the stage, so that the marbles don't cause lag. It's especially yeah. bad in the space levels, because the game really struggles to animate the uh, reduced gravity on the marble bounces. <laughs> wow. The uh, medieval levels in West Wing are also extremely dangerous. That's one thing that I do kind of like, though, that they were able to reuse some of the uh, level styles and, you know, have a different level entirely that you go through, uh, but be able to Sort of the opposite of the way them. they did it for Jaguar Bubsy. Hmm. Oh, what? They like to sp Jaguar Bubsy, you play three levels in the exact same style with very similar maps in a row. 
And in uh, Bubsy 2, they actually thought enough to spread them out so that you see the different styles with other kinds of level in between. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Surprisingly, like, nice thing for them to have done when the rest of the game is so cruel. I wouldn't say the bosses are necessarily uh, inspiring. <laughs> I wouldn't call them inspiring. They are hectic. Uh, they do feel very stressful to play through those bosses. And you do feel good when you did it right. So that's a plus. Yeah. It's a speed <laughs> good. Great level. We start in a closed room with one door. This level has some funky movement to it as well. Just didn't want to go that way. I already botched some of the best movement in the stage. Oops. And is right here. Intentionally hit those pterodactyls with my face. That's the fastest way to get through them. <laughs> That little side jump is a lot harder than it looks, and I have to squeeze in between three packs of enemies there to make that jump, which makes it uh, a much more hectic Egypt level than the other ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Try to prevent getting hit from that little sound wave attack. There we go. The hitbox for that switch is actually on the left side of the switch, not the center of it. Uh, so if you try and hit it from the center, you just sit there and press the up button over and over again, and nothing happens. A uh, weird quirk about the game is that at the end of the stage, you have to press uh, the start button to advance through that prompt where you can buy items and it counts your score and all of that crap. But if you mash the button too fast, the game freaks out and doesn't know how to handle it. And it winds up taking like four or four and a half seconds to get through the prompt, where just tapping the button with a little rhythm gets you through it in about a second and a half. Yeah. <laughs> now, wait, I, sh I, I, I saw Garbanzo shoot a pterodactyl a little while ago. They're weapons? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Bubsy 2 has, I believe it's four items you can use uh, in-game. Two of them do nothing that is relevant to the speedrun in any way. Uh, they actually specifically only get you to uh, bonus stages. Um, but the ones we care about are the Nerf gun, which is actually sort of useful in some cases, uh, although we don't really route it into anything specific in the run, and Smart Bombs. And the Smart Bombs are absolutely critical for the run. They kill every enemy on screen. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've seen you use a few of those. Yeah. So it's funny, people are saying that it should be on a system with less lag. The SNES version is even laggier, actually. The reason I played on Genesis is because there's less lag, uh, much less lag. <laughs> so it's better sound by a mile. Yeah. <laughs> this level is kind of a jerk. Yeah. Oh, well, it's music level. Of course it's a jerk. And it also has some weird jump physics. I'm going to try and get the good jump here. Uh, I'm not going to get too greedy. It's actually very, very hard to get the best possible jump here. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to guess that Garbanzo is probably going to go for it, but I will not because I have made it like twice in my life. Yeah, I'm going to go I'm for it. I'm not expecting today to be the day that I get it. for a safety strat there. I think it paid off. Uh, for safety strats, that was actually a very good music stage. Ah, nice. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, that... No, I totally missed it. Uh, yeah, that jump is just miserable. There is a way you can chain jump. You hit, like, three enemies, you bounce all the way to the end of the stage. It's unreal. It looks beautiful when you nail it. I think it's if it's not frame perfect, it's got to be real close. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, that still wasn't the worst level, though. Oh no, that may have been slow marbles. Is there anything too intense about the plane level that you're on? Uh, there's a little quirk that Garbanzo found out recently that makes the level faster, although the intense part right now is that I only have one hit point left. Oh boy. So that's why I'm kind of going a little crazy with the gun and not going full speed. I'm uh, a little scared. Uh, I'm still a little scared. It should be okay. Alright, it worked out. Okay. Cool. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah there's, a, there's a very minor uh, improvement to the route that Garbanzo figured out recently for the most recent world record run. Uh, there, we used to go through a cave and make a U-turn in a cave, and uh, it was determined you can actually U-turn before that, as you saw on my side of the screen. I don't know if Garbanzo went for it. Just I, ju not. I just now did it, I think. We're moving on to Medieval 2. Medieval 2 has uh, the, some of the coolest movement that we're going to see on West Wing, if I can get it right. I still don't have a really consistent strat for that stage, honestly. So, yeah. I almost got the perfect jump. That's okay, because I can de-boost into these guys. Nope, almost got it. Hmm. Come on, guys. I need to get that one de-boost. Give me that bounce. There we go. Should be okay now. I'm a little risky right now, but hmm. the checkpoint, I don't feel too bad about that. All right, there we go. Uh, that was a very safe strat, but it's got some cool movement to it, so it looks nice. And this is where we use the uh, the statue to get that perfect bounce into the marble, so the screen can't scroll up. All the marbles bounce right through Bubsy because he can't travel any further into the air, and he hovers there almost indefinitely. Uh, Makes for the marble collecting to go much faster. Uh oh, I heard the hand clap. I'm going to guess that West Wing is going to go the same way East Wing did for me. Uh. Uh, well, I just died, so, yeah. Like, it was a short death, though. The good thing about the medieval levels is when you do die, it's not that costly. It's a much faster area to die in than any other area in the game. Yeah, it looks like there are a lot of checkpoints that you can grab throughout. The medieval stages are shorter in general, so if you die, it's not super costly. Oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. I'm uh, playing it a little safe with the boss. I didn't want to go for risky strats because I took damage early. Uh. So I'm headed off to the third floor, and uh, my favorite part about the third floor on West Wing is that I don't need to memorize a third Egypt level because it's the same one as we had on the East Wing. So this ought to look real familiar to folks who were here about 15 minutes ago. I was here about 15 minutes ago. Yeah, it looks like Egypt. <laughs> Your commentary, thanks, bro. I know. <laughs> Appreciate I, it, man. <laughs> I just felt like I need to say something. Yeah, I, I know Egypt things, and it's totally... I, I recognize that it's probably Egypt. It's Egypty. You know, they're, We're going to see mummies. actually more Egypt later on, because we also get to see this game on Game Boy, which yeah. is even more hideous. <laughs> if you think this looks terrible, oh my gosh, you are in for a treat. Oh, I am so glad I'm not the one playing that game. <laughs> so this is the playable version, is what you're saying. Yes. I genuinely enjoy playing this game. I own the Game Boy version, and it's not good. <laughs> my favorite thing about the Game Boy version is that I'm not required to play it. <laughs> well, perfect. Isn't that great? Uh, what's nice it, it looks like Garbanzo is starting to make up a little bit of time over there oh well yeah I'm just finishing the last e third Egypt level and there's some really tough I'm only about me. 10 seconds maybe 15 ahead of you at this point uh, not a lot uh, there is some very cool movement here uh, if I can get it to work on the first try it actually is 100% consistent as long as I don't fall asleep at the wheel there we go Getting through that giant mess of enemies actually very difficult, uh, but there is a consistent way to do it, which I went for and worked out. Oh. Hi, interesting. Just, just the clip there. I didn't expect that you would be able to clip through the ground like that. There's actually some pretty cool movement here. I'm playing it real safe. Uh, there's a lot of ways this next section can go wrong. You'll notice there are penguins, and I hate them. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, Kinda figured that was coming. Oh, I thought I heard a sound. Oh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how it goes sometimes with Bubsy, too. Uh, I'm gonna uh, get however, this. I'm going to go under these guys. I'll take the D-boost and cross my fingers. I wonder how it is now. Yeah, I should have gone for the, uh, the safety checkpoint, but I didn't. 
Oh. Got too greedy. Ah. Oh. This place is dangerous. This place is real dangerous. I did not want to be downstairs. That was a mistake. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oops. Well, okay. <laughs> the, music the music levels. The music levels. They are incredibly cruel, and uh, <laughs> thankfully this is the last we'll see of them. Unfortunately, this stage might be the last you'll see of me in this game. Oh, oh no! It's, uh, it's going to be tight. It's going to be real tight. Hey, oh. Gonzo beat the stage. He's yeah. through it. I got two lives left, and I'm dying left and right. This is getting really bad. You can do it! Uh, I might not be able to. We'll see. I almost got the good movement at the start of the stage. With the enemy's dead, it actually gets harder because there's less things to bounce on. And the bouncing is how you get through the area fast enough to not take damage from the guys wandering around. Wait, 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 wait. So the more you play it, the more enemies are dead? Actually stay dead when you kill them. Oh no, That's this... Gross. Most of them do, anyway. Okay, this... I mean... Th Casually, that's good, but that's terrible for speedrunning. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> I'm the one who's currently <laughs> employing safety strats to get through it because of that, so... So that medieval law is just doing. Sometimes it can get really complicated, but like, you, if you do a lot of time jumping, you can like make it really short if you jump at the right place. Back in it. We're back in it. Music stage is over. I still got two lives in my pocket. Okay. Good. Good. Nice. It ain't the prettiest thing in the world, but at least it's getting done. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and buy an extra life. <laughs> <laughs> good well, idea. That wasn't part of my game plan today, but let's do it. All right. Yeah, so this stage we didn't even is say there was a shopping function in this game. Yeah. No, it's terrible. <laughs> Crap. I missed the jump. I gotta go back. Ugh. Please, game. Please, be kind. Rewind. All right. All right. Got it through medieval. We're all right. Okay. Good. Everything okay. is fine. Nothing is ruined. <laughs> On the bright side, I think we're going to hit our estimate. Yeah, yeah, it seems like it. Yeah, it looks like we're on track. Yeah. About now is actually the current world record for this category. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm heading to okay, the... Okay, Garbanzo is through the space stage. It looks like Kowal is hopping into it right now. Yep, I, uh, I actually want to go here. There we go. Kind of forgot what platform I was supposed to be on. Oh no, we're not going to miss the checkpoint. I learned my lesson. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Are, are, are those spikes instant in death? The ones in the space yes. level? In space level, pretty much everything is instant death. <laughs> <laughs> The entire design of the stage is instant death. The hooks are instant death, the spikes are instant death, pits are instant death, lightning's instant death. Oh yeah, I do remember the hooks. They just catch you and like pull you up and then you're dead. Yeah, you pop yeah. like a balloon. So weird. The hitboxes on them are, are really strange. So, like you can sometimes jump through them if you jump jump correctly, but sometimes Yeah, if you're going yeah. up and they're going down, sometimes you can go right through them and they're kind of hideous. But hey, space level's done. Yeehaw. Cool. Moving right along. Marbles, too, for space level. Good. Okay, I'm heading to the final boss. Yeah, you're ahead of me by probably a solid minute and a half, but that's alright. I don't actually remember the route for the third plane level, so this will be an adventure. I think I probably want to be down here. I don't know. That's right. Wow, the, this boss is kind of uninspiring. <laughs> the boss <laughs> at the end of the game is actually by far the worst part of the game. Wait, really? Oh yeah, it's so stupid. <laughs> Do you mean worst is in stupid? Yes. Oh, okay. It's also so, where I died the most. 
I learned the route originally, so I kind of feel like it's the worst in every other way, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Unintentional death in the plane level, but I should still be able to finish easily enough. Oh, okay. Garbanzo cool. has finished in 39.12. Ah. Uh. <laughs> not bad for a marathon. Yeah. Uh. Record is like 37.13 or something like that. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 3740, I think, yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the record holder is Garbanzo for about two hours it was me. <laughs> it didn't take long to get that record back. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember when you took it. Yeah. That didn't last long at all. No, it was the same day he actually took it back from me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, mm -hmm. I just gotta finish up the final boss and then we can move on to the much better of the two games I'm playing today. Oh, oh. boy. Uh, I tend to go safety strats on Oinker because the typical strat that is used here is not one I've been able to do consistently. Mm -hmm. uh, which is, you're never supposed to really touch the ground after we get through the first bounce. Um, okay. But if you are at the top of the ceiling and you get pinched up between the top of the ceiling and the boss, he'll damage you even if you're falling onto his head. And as you saw right there, you can actually phase through his projectiles and you'll take damage for it. Yeah. And time. GG. All right, still underestimate. Yeah. Cool. Hey, congratulations <laughs> both Bam. of you. Cool. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> that game is very brutal, so I was unsurprised to not finish East Wing, although honestly, I would have expected West Wing to be the part I'd choke. <laughs> hey, but that's a great done. game. Yeah, Bubsy. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yep, so uh, I'm actually up next. I'm going to go ahead and set my console for the next race. Cool. You guys give me 45 seconds, I'll be ready to rock and roll. Cool, cool. Awesome. Cool, hmm. thank you so much, Kowal, hmm. and Garbanzo as well.